whitest video that ever happened. There's so because much white. <laughs> yeah, there's white you, you're wearing a white t-shirt, the oh, wall's yeah, the white. The wall is white, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've come to um, a burger joint that I don't know if we've ever, have we ever talked about this burger joint before? I don't know I don't if we have. I don't think so. Um, it's called Freshness Burger, and I'll be honest, I usually come here and I'm like a little bit like, meh, that Freshness Burger was okay, it wasn't great. Like, it doesn't fall into like that, like, um, that ridiculously disgusting junk food feeling you get from a McDonald's, and it also doesn't like achieve like a classy burger chain. It seems to fall like the like the Ghostbusters yeah, burger. Like the Ghostbusters burger, yeah, it falls somewhere in between. And I don't know. I usually just don't end up thinking I'm ever gonna come back. But I walked by here a couple days ago, and they had um, a like promotion for a Thai style burger, and it's called a Gong Pao burger. So that's like a you know special. Thai dish or something, if I remember, with like ground beef or something? Is that what Spicy it's ground beef. Spicy ground beef, yeah. So anyway, I was like, okay, I like Thai food, I like burgers, so let's see what happens when you slide them together. So um, I guess this would be considered like American fusion, American Thai fusion. And um, this is the burger, and like the burger looks, I mean, the, the food here looks legit, which is what usually draws me in. Um, and it looks like it might be chicken. And like there looks like there's to be some herbs or, a or something in there. Maybe it's a vegetable mm. patty. And otherwise, um, looks like there's some melted cheese and uh, uh, basil or something. Maybe is that what we're guessing? You think? Uh, cilantro. Cilantro. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, looks like a little bit of a onion, yeah. some sort of creamy oh. sauce. Yeah. Okay. So you know, I was like, I like that. We're gonna do this. I'm interested in the patty, though. I have done no research, as usual, as you can tell. <laughs> it's spicy. <gasps> um, it really does taste like Thai food. The patty has got meat. It's got meat in it, but I think it's chicken. Could be ground chicken. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is because maybe they use ground chicken and got out. I'm not sure what know. type of uh, meat Gotta, they use. I know use. I'm saying that wrong too. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Is there egg on here as well? Did we there see? should be egg yeah, on yeah, there yeah, somewhere. So that's a fried egg. That's a big part of got out. Yeah, yeah. Usually they put like a fried egg on top of the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, that's a pretty. This is probably the best thing I've had here. This is pretty good. Um, I might actually come back for this. So part of this set that they had was this, and they had a lemonade that they said it's like a double lemonade or something. I don't know. It's uh, carbonated. He, pour, he put like um, Sprite or something into a mixture of lemonade. It's pretty tasty. Um, nothing like explosively amazing though. I mean, I, I've been, I, I lived in Virginia. We were ruined I've, on I've lemonade. Had, I've had lemonade before. It's like, and um, they had a Thai style salad as well. And it said that it had seafood in it, but I believe, based on inspection, that it was only um, shrimp. And this looked a lot better a few minutes ago, but it comes with a salad. Katie put the salad, a salad dressing. Katie put the salad dressing in and mixed it around. Um, so I'm just kind of hoping for, yeah, there's a little shrimp in there. Some Thai style. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like a Thai salad. Like a fast food Thai salad, but like the flavor is definitely legit in that in that direction. Hmm. That's pretty good. Um, if you've had a Thai salad before, you've had this. <laughs> it's fun to have it in Japan. And Katie got something that. Uh, yeah, let, let me take over now. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's a bit related to some place we've been recently. All right. Freshness Burger doesn't isn't even on my radar of burgers places. It's just it's that place you walk by every now and then. Um, but the one thing that they do serve that other places don't serve is uh, a spam burger. So I was just like, screw it, I'm getting the spam. I've also got an egg. Maybe it's a they're going Thai style on this. Then you've got the spam down below, a tomato and a massive, a massive pile of amount lettuce. Amount of cabbage, it's actually uh, cabbage, yeah. and um, some mayo. Mayo on top, mayo on the bottom. <laughs> spam in the middle. And I feel like I do have a very good understanding of spam, so I'm going to be a harsh critic on this. 
I mean, if it came, if it came from a can, I mean, spam is spam, right? Isn't it all the same? It's in how you cook it. It's a little undercooked. Floppy bacon. Let me see. Oh yeah, it is a little undercooked. It's undercooked. And you have to complement your spam. Spam's a bit of a, it's got a bit of a spiciness to it if it's actually cooked. Um, this has fallen short of my approval for a spam burger. <laughs> so this is your normal freshness burger like experience. Yeah, this is a normal one. Try I the Thai spam. Try the Thai burger and tell me what Maybe you think can, of the meat. Maybe they can change it over. This bun is actually different. It is. Yeah, it's kind of yellow. Mm. Not sure why it's yellow, but that's interesting. Yours has sesame seeds on it. Mine's traditional, I think. Mm. Yours is maybe a potato bun or something. I don't know. It does feel squishier like a potato bun. Mm, yeah, it's quite good. Do you um, agree that's chicken? But it's just, I, I definitely think that it's chicken. I think, honestly, I think that, um, I think chicken might be the superior meat for burgers. What do you think about I'm, that? I'm not going to disagree with that. I think this chicken is the superior meat in most cases, except for tacos. I mean, you're the only place that you'll find me going in the other direction. But, uh, yeah, I would say that that's only exciting because of the patty. So I basically feel like there's... 80% of stuff and then a patty, mm. which is great because the patty's all right. <laughs> um, the one other thing I wanted to talk about for Freshness Burger is they have this little stand uh, that's in almost every Freshness Burger that I've ever seen, and they give you all these sauces. You can get all the sauces, and everyone knows I got all the sauces. You have to have the rainbow of sauces. It's very important. And you can choose between getting um, french fry wedges or the onion rings. And I went onion rings because you can't do that anywhere else. And I'm gonna try their fire sauce, like their hottest sauce that they have. Just because I've been challenging myself to the spice. I think it's important. Don't hurt yourself, son. We about to get on an airplane and go to Seoul. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> That attacked my, the tip of my tongue is on fire already. The rest of my tongue kind of is zigzagging. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Mm. So, you get a little fiesta at a Freshness Burger with all of the sauces, but I wonder if that's making up for some other things. I've made a critical mistake. I got so excited about this uh, Thai burger that I then went ahead and called this lemonade. And then I was like, I've had lemonade because I'm from Virginia. <laughs> Apparently I haven't had lemonade because this is pineapple. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was one of the worst lemonades I've ever had. <laughs> I'm retarded sometimes. <laughs>
and um, specifically Douglas on Patreon had asked us about if we could explain a little bit about how the Japanese medical system functions as far as like insurance and payments and all that stuff goes. And I'm slightly apprehensive to answer this question because we're not experts on this at all. We can just talk about how we have used it and it's been very little that we have used it. Like mm. we haven't used, we don't go to the doctor so often. Um, so we're not a hundred percent like clear of all the rules or regulations and if there's laws about certain things and stuff. And some of people's questions were like, is there national health insurance and is it required and stuff? And the answer to that is, I think so. Like there is definitely national health there's, insurance. There, what, what we thought national health care was, I feel ended up being kind of like Medicare for lower income people. Yeah, is I mean, what we were on. Yeah, and but it's and, like and a, a national, lot of people use it though. Yeah, and a it lot doesn't. Of it's not do. like a poor people thing necessarily. It's like it's like not working for a big corporation. Yeah, and yeah. there's a lot of people who don't work for big corporations, but there are a lot of big corporations. And now that I work for a mildly a corporation, yeah, it's kind <laughs> um, of I work for a corporation now, and uh, they. I actually get my insurance through my company, much like you would in America. I think that my company pays a chunk, and I pay a chunk, and then I'm covered for a certain period of time. And I, and because she has that system, I am a dependent upon her um, so we health have insurance. insurance. So we have insurance through that. Before, when we were teaching a few years ago, um, we had the national. Let's call it the national health. Program. I don't know what the real term is, but the national stuff was um, what we used, and it worked great. I mean, it was mm. really, really good. And um, I, I'm under the impression that if you work in Japan, you have to pay in to the national health insurance health insurance system, unless you have private health insurance. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't, we are, you don't pay into it now because you have private health insurance. But before when we were teaching, it was required to pay yeah. into that. But as a result, you received national health insurance. So like, I think, and I'm, I'm gonna get into a, a, a even deeper thing look I don't understand, but I think it works like Obamacare. Like, that's mm. kind of the general idea, right? Oh, but I haven't, I haven't, yeah, Abecare. I haven't lived in America since Obamacare existed, so I really don't know. But it seems like, from what I've read, it's kind of a similar system. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to have, like, all these, like, go with this plan or come to this website. And there's yeah, no, 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 no. It's just like, you, you just it's, pay and you're covered. It's just one, and everybody that's in that national health care is treated basically the same. It might be different for your age or how many people are in your family or something like that uh, yeah. as to how much you pay, but um, my general understanding of the healthcare system here is that you have a 30% copay um, for any transaction that you have that's uh, medical. Yeah, work. Um, yeah. Um, and that's when we went from the national to the private, private yeah. I thought that we were paying a lot more, but I checked and it was 30% here and it was 30% there. So we just started going to different doctors or something i don't know yeah, if we were we, actually we, even at the same time them. we moved to tokyo maybe the doctors mm. are a little more expensive or something oh, I don't or know. they're doing more stuff i don't know yeah um one of the interesting things about healthcare here is that they actually instigate you doing a yearly checkup and um the companies have you do that the companies the company that you work for has to pay for you to go and get I a think yearly checkup and what's great about that is that you feel like you're getting tested for things and that they're taking care of you. But I actually had a very, like, a, a mild scare of something that should have been flagged in my yearly checkup yeah. and was flagged in my yearly checkup, but they did nothing about it. And, and I through. ended up I ended up having to go through another means where another doctor found it and was like, why didn't they look into this? This is, yeah. like, kind of serious. And so yearly stuff they're just taking my money or the company's money yeah that's what yeah, i figured yeah, i found out yeah. so they're they're very health conscious here and whatnot but in a way it's almost a money mill for the yearly checkup yeah yeah they really yeah yeah it's weird hmm. you can go both ways i mean if you have a yearly checkup from a really good doctor or something maybe it's better i mean i'm sure you get different mileage based on where you go but anyway so like the the end part of the whole thing here is that um Medical care is way cheaper here than it was for me when I lived in America anyways, and I'm not sure if that's changed or whatever, but I think the, I think the reason is just because that there's regulations in place that, like, doctors can't just charge whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the, that's the impression we're under is that, like, 
the doctor is like, okay, I did procedure blah, and I'm allowed to charge X, and that's how it is. And I don't feel, I don't think that there's, and because everybody has insurance, like, there's no, like, gouging people with no insurance, like, f because of loopholes through, like, non-insurance and insurance and all that nonsense, like, that, that used to exist in America, and it keeps the prices of things way, way more affordable. So when Katie went to the doctor, they did blood work on you and something else, and, like, a, you had a doctor visit with, like, an expert, like, a specialist, and it was, mm. it was, like, $30. Yeah. You know, and, like, in America, even with insurance, like, unless you have really good insurance, then I, I, I'm under the impression it would be way more. I mean, I went to... I had insurance in America, and I would go get, like, small things done at, like, mm. you know, uh, walk-in doctors or whatever, mm -hmm. and, like, it was, like, $100. Yeah. And it was, like, something really, really minor. So, like, what you went for, like, they did stuff with labs, and it was only 30 bucks. Yeah. And that's been our experience, like, basically every time we've been to the doctor here is we always leave, like, that's it. That's all it costs. Healthcare is one of the things that would keep me in Japan. Yeah, Point it's point. really good. It's really and you, nice. And you know what, I, I, I listen to people talk about Obamacare, and I'm not saying that Obamacare is like good or bad or anything like that, but I think that social health care is badass. For yeah, Point they, freaking they, blank. They I, I want to live somewhere that has social health care. They've made it work here. Oh, yeah. They really have. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. So uh, medicine as well seems like there's some sort of cap on the cost of medicine because... I don't think there's don't, a cap. We, there's we, definitely a percentage. Well, I'm saying that, like, I don't, I'm under the impression that there's not really, really expensive medicine here. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, the same way that doctor stuff is capped, I, I'm under the impression. Again, like, this is only from our experiences. I've never looked into this stuff, so please don't, like, write a report. And we're not, like, hypochondriacs or, yeah. like, have really serious health problems or anything like that, so... We, we, we've dipped our toe in the medical field, so that you get, you're getting a, a toes full of information. <laughs> okay, let's do. I'm gonna do one more question because that was that was a pretty long. I didn't really yeah. think it was gonna be so involved. But it was kind of a big, big subject, right? Yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm reading through like a big list of things. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Debbie on Facebook asked um, about driving in foreign countries. That you tend to be the one that drives in Japan and uh, I tend to be the one that drives outside of Japan. And we talked about this last time in a video where you have a driver's license in Japan mm -hmm. and I don't have a driver's license in Japan. And she asked about like what it was like renting cars and stuff in different countries or renting motorbikes when we go outside of outside of Japan. And renting a car in Japan is just like renting a car in America. It, yeah, you, it's a, basically I just exactly go to a website and then I just tell them what I want and then I go to a building and there's a car and waiting for she me. Has her, she shows her Japanese driver's license and that's it. Like, yeah. it's the end of it. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, renting motorbikes and stuff in different countries can be, like, very, very different. I've never once had anybody ask me for a driver's license because they don't care when you're in Southeast Asia or the developing mm. world. Like, they just like, here's a motorbike, go. <laughs> it's never, ever been a big deal. Um, you couldn't pull the same thing in Japan or, like, America or something, obviously. But, like, in Vietnam, you're not even... Foreigners are not legally allowed to ride motorbikes unless they're residents of Vietnam. Like, tourists cannot ride motorbikes. So nobody will rent a foreigner a motorbike, so that's why we bought one. <laughs> Somebody would sell us one because it wasn't tied to them anymore. So we bought it, used it, and then we sent it back to them, and they bought it back from us for what we thought was a pretty fair price. And the one thing I want to say about us driving and stuff like that, the reason that drive, for, for Japan, the reason that I have a license here is because driving is my hobby. Driving is, I love driving, and it's I good really enjoy it. Too. And, and it's good for at least one of us to have the license, and you're cool with just chilling. When we go outside of Japan, honestly, I'm not that great of a driver. Your <laughs> hobby doesn't mean you're good at it. Your hobby means you really enjoy it, even when you're hitting stuff with the car. <laughs> um, he's a much better driver than I am, and he keeps his head very cool in situations that I would just be freaking out. Um, and in so, the traffic of, yeah. like... <laughs> and he's got much better balance than I do. So, yeah, I am so well, crazy. It's not me. It's just when you put acceleration under that bike and it balances for you. It's magic, man. Oh, and, uh... From what I nah, can tell. <laughs> it's gonna be Wobble City. <laughs> Woo! I think the end card is now longer than the video. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>